Hi, this is Neet Mitra. Welcome to the second part of the Lac Operon. In the previous part, we took a look at the central dogma and understood what is an operon. If you have not watched it yet, then click on the link in the comment section. The Lac Operon has an I gene which codes for repressor mRNA. The P refers to the promoter region. O means the operator. The Z gene codes for beta galactosidase, beta gal. The Y gene codes for permease. The A gene encodes a transacetylase. Lacoperon functions in two conditions. First up, case 1. In the absence of lactose, the operon is turned off. The I gene codes for the repressor mRNA, which further leads to the synthesis of repressor protein. This repressor binds to the operator and the operon shuts off. Regulation of lac operon by repressor is referred to as negative regulation. Lac operon is under control of positive regulation as well, but it is beyond the scope of discussion at this level. Now, case 2. The operon is turned on in the presence of lactose. The I gene codes for the repressor mRNA, which further leads to the synthesis of repressor protein, but this time the inducer, that is, allolactase, binds to the repressor protein and prevent it from binding to the operator, hence preventing the operon from turning off. Now, Z, Y, and A gene freely synthesize their corresponding products. I hope you understood the concept of the lac operon. If you did, then like the video, share it with your friends who need it, and do not forget to subscribe for more. Until next time, it is me, Neat Mitra, signing off. Thank you for watching.